Right, welcome back to the Plymouth View, Jaden. It's been a busy old couple of weeks for Plymouth Argyle. How are you? All right. Yeah, good. Thank you, Mark. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, first of all, let's talk us through that Leeds FA Cup game. Then um, it's one of those one of those games that you just have to hang in, take up uh, take up all the pressure, hang on in there, and um, you deserved it in the end, didn't you? Yeah, we did. Um, yeah, we were very good in that game. Um, you know, you can't really fault. You can't really fault the effort of the of the squad, um, especially with a lot of players of ours cup tied because um, they've already already played this season yeah. in the FA Cup. Um, but yeah, outstanding effort from some boys who don't even usually start in the league for us. Yeah, so uh, Jordan Hutton's injured, isn't he? Um, and uh, Divine and Gabby were, were were not were not available. So step up. Caleb Roberts, just talk to me about uh, this young man and um, what uh, what you've been excited about him so far. Yeah, I was very happy for him to, to get his first start for the Greens, but I I thought he was quite poor. But personally, but yeah, I'm very I'm very happy for him to to get his first start. He's going to be bright in the future, hopefully. Okay, um, what's going on with Bundu? Because um, we, we've spoken on this channel before about um, obviously the qualities and he has scored some really important goals uh, for Plymouth but um, he's just been a new substitute hasn't he does this manager not fancy him um, well yeah he got his he got his first opportunity and he took it really well um, on Saturday he obviously got the assist for the goal lovely um, lovely weighted pass to Randall um, but yeah for some reason Ian Foster hasn't liked him in the first few games uh, but now he's got a chance and he's taken it. Hopefully he'll get more game time. Okay. And and Morgan Whittaker himself has, has um, been captain, hasn't he, um, uh, this this month. Do you, do you agree with that choice of, as, as, as captain? Yeah, of course he deserves it. Um, you know, I think he got it against Cardiff um, and he scored. So you can't, you can't fault it. Do you not see there's other... You know, stronger leaders in the team than 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 you know a young striker. Yeah, I yeah, I would I would say that, but um, we won we won the game, um, and he did well. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we can do really. Okay. As long as he, as long as the manager's clearly got faith in him, I, I suppose that's a good thing. Okay, and then finally, just on Aston Villa, recalling um, Kessler Hayden, how gutted were you with that news? Yeah, um, yeah, one of he's one of my favourite players. He was one of my favourite players. Um, so yeah, it was quite sad to see him. He he was always there at the back post, get some important touches away from goal. Um, uh, really good defensively and attacking. Um, so yeah, I think whoever signed him up in the last few days of the window is a lucky club. Okay. All right, let's get some predictions then for Plymouth uh, travelling to Swansea. Uh, what's your, what are you going with? Um, I think I'll go with a 1-1 draw because um, under Ian Foster, we're, we're unbeaten. We're unbeaten away, but we've had two draws. They've both been 1-1, so I'll go with 1-1. All right, nice one, yeah. Well done, Ian Foster. Keeping the run going, unbeaten in four. Um, yeah, turning Plymouth into a bit of a force. Um, enjoy the game at Swansea. We'll catch you next week, Jaden. Thanks so much. Cheers, Mark.